Hello, today we will be talking about Swadhyaya. Swadhyaya means a clear understanding of philosophy and the need to acquire knowledge in general. When we spoke about Tapa, I mentioned that there is a service to knowledge. And knowledge is something that helps you to be happy. That is, the right worldview, the right understanding of the processes that occur in the world. That is, it is not enough to believe in something, to believe it is true. The yogic approach is to be a researcher, a realist, to be someone who discovers the truth, to not just believe something as it is, but to find the truth yourself and to understand deeply why this is so and why that is so. That is a healthy skepticism and a healthy attitude to information you read. That is, you start to apply it, to practice, to get personal experience. And only after that you can say whether something is right or not. Plus, you constantly expose your understanding to thought. That is, now I have such and such an understanding of something. This is good, but it is not final. And by the way, when speaking about knowledge, I need to say how important it is to not know something. The principle of ignorance is in fact required when you are learning something new. Take the film Avatar, for example. They flew over to these blue people, and the blue people said to them, your scientists are not able to learn, because they already know everything. So they sent a soldier. The soldier was not burdened with any philosophical thoughts, and he as a result, learned everything very quickly, because initially he did not think that he knew everything. Generally speaking, ignorance is not in principle when you do not know something. It is when you think you know something, but in fact do not. As a result, you do not even have the chance to change your worldview. A look at a baby or a child. It is a stream of constant experience, constant perception of the environment. What older people say, oh, let him try. We know that he won't be able to do it. And that is the thing about youth and old age. Youth is the privilege to not know. And you stay young the moment you still have that spark the desire to know, to know, to know, anything you don't know, when you know that there is still something else that you do not know, and you want to bring something new into your life. Old age is when you start saying, well, this is how things are going to be. Then you are not living your life, you are living inside your head. And in your head you think, well, this is going to end like this, that's going to end like that, and as a result, you are not tasting life. So, it is better to stay young, to keep the understanding that I still have a lot to learn. If you do not understand something, do not look for quick answers. We tend to have a very uncomfortable attitude towards the fact that we have an empty spot in our head. That is, there are a lot of theories. How is the governing of the world organized? Or is there a global level of organization? For me, it is better to honestly admit to myself that I have no reliable sources of information and I sincerely do not know what the facts are rather than be a blind believer in some theory or another. And as a result, close my eyes to the truth. I don't know yet. I have a chance to find out. I will watch, study and listen to different opinions on the matter, and somehow I will find an understanding. Therefore, Swadhyaya is the admittance that in fact we need to improve our knowledge. We do not need to be satisfied with what has already been achieved. We need to carefully review, ask questions. Why this is so? Why that is so? Why just like that? For example, someone says, in Siberia all men should be vegetarians. It is necessary to take this apart and take a critical approach to every single word. 
Why in Siberia? Why should they? Why only men? Why vegetarians? Why, why, why? And find these answers. It is also useful to give lectures, because when you read something yourself, it seems that everything is clear. But when you decide to explain to someone, you start to think differently, and you find a lot of questions that you think somebody will ask you, and you think, what will I answer them? And then you start to really study, so that you can give them an answer. So, read, and be inspired. There is a sort of literature called spiritual literature. It is like meditation, in a way. You read it and you get a good feeling, like you are in good company. The book, in essence, becomes good company at this point. So, read. It is important not to lose meaning. It is important to read, to study, to, to live through what you have read. Then it becomes real knowledge. Knowledge is not what you remember. Knowledge is something about which you have personal experience, personal understanding and personal feelings.